G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? My name's Caroline and this is my weekly wrap up. All right, wherever you're watching from, Pepsi cheers and happy Sunday to you all. Hope you've had a great week, a great weekend, and you're having a nice time. <laughs> uh, I always get tongue tied in like what I should say. Still to this day, <laughs> after a couple of years doing this. Uh, so not a huge exciting week this week. It's still been very uh, relaxing ever since my family went away and given that I don't have children, I don't have to worry about school holidays or anything like that where I know a lot of people from New South Wales right now are still dealing with that. Um, and I hope, you know, you guys are having a nice family fun time. Uh, but all I did this week where I'd have to take some money out is I went to the movies and I finally saw the Amy Winehouse biopic. It was really great. I enjoyed it. Um, there's a bit of criticism like she's no Amy Winehouse. Well, to be fair, there was only one Amy Winehouse. Do you know what I mean? And Amy Winehouse for me is up there in one of my top 10 artists. I absolutely love her music. Her Back to Black album, I swear I could listen to every single song on that album without skipping. Uh, I have, like, I, as I've mentioned in the past, I love collecting Funko Pops and I have all her Funko Pops. I am a huge fan of Amy Winehouse, needless to say. So I was really excited to go see this movie and I thought it was great. Uh, very sad story, of course. We all know what happened to her. And it's just, it's just sad to think that someone was such on a high, literally. <laughs> um, and, you know, unfortunately just got lost her way in a way and it's just it's really sad that she didn't have um a very very strong support network around her that was able to help her a bit more um but then in some cases you can't help so you can't help certain people if they don't want help themselves uh but anyway i still loved it the music was great of course she's got hits after hits so i really thoroughly enjoyed it and if you like biopics which I do like recently a couple of months ago whenever it was I went and saw the Bob Marley one as well and I mentioned that to you guys and I enjoyed that it's just like the music they're great for the cinema because you get to really hear all the music loud and I enjoyed it so I've got to take some money out um so we're gonna go to yeah let's do cash because it's already low anyway um actually Yeah, I'll take it out of cash because I needed to take out 70. But what I might do is I'll just take out the 50. And what I'll do is I'll just take 20 from my buffer. And that's okay because I've got a couple of hundred dollars in my buffer. For those who I actually get that question a little bit, like what do you mean by a buffer? So I have just a, a buffer that if I don't have, you know, like I don't have $70, like and I could go into another envelope and swap it out. But I don't want to do that. I just, I just keep it how it is. And what I'll do is, you know, say like in this instant, I needed 70, but I don't, I can either take a hundred and put $30 in the buffer, but because my buffer's okay, it's not depleted. I'll just take the 50 and the extra 20 I'll take from the buffer. I hope that makes sense. Um, it's just like, you know, mainly that buffer gets built by the way from interest. So, you know, savings that I had in my account, because a lot of people ask me about my interest I'm earning as well. So that is what I use for my buffer. If it, I've been meaning to answer this question actually for a while, uh, cause you guys have been asking. And so, yeah, I normally use my interest for a buffer or like if I want to sneakily spend something and it's pri and like a, on something private and I don't really want to share it, I will use the interest to do that. Um, uh, but most of the time I, I, I'm trying to share all my spendings with you guys. So we're going to go minus 50, which will leave us back at 200. So 51, 52, but that's a great way if you are, um, uh, you know, if you've got most of your savings digitally, uh, I would recommend definitely, I'm not a financial advisor. I'll never re like tell you what to do, but I recommend you doing some research and finding what banks offer really good interest rates. <clears throat> There's a couple out there. Uh, and you know some of them will allow you to even withdraw the money and it not affect the interest because some banks you know if you touch the money you lose the interest for the month so be careful of that uh so yeah i i've got one where i can use the interest and i can 
put money in, put money out. There's no limitations. And all it does is it gives me whatever's sitting in the bank at the end of the month, it gives me an interest based on that. Um, so it's really great. And so yeah, that's all I have to take out is the 50 bucks for the movie. And I'm sorry, this video is going to be super, super quick because I really have not done anything else other than just go to the gym, uh, do my walks every day. I've been really, really just my mindset to this fitness and health oh, I'm, I'm hooked now and i'm starting to see the results which is awesome i like it's feeling the results but there's also seeing the results and it's for me when family and friends say oh caroline you look like you've lost weight that's they know the kind of journey i'm on so i feel like they're telling me that but when a random person that you don't normally see and they don't know what you've done tells you oh you look like you've lost weight that's when it really um, hits home and that happened to me this week and it made me feel great. Um, so there we go, 50 bucks is taken out of uh, my binder for the movie and I really recommend you going and watching it if you love Amy Winehouse. So Pepsi cheers and I hope you have a lovely Sunday and here's to a brand new week starting tomorrow. Bye for now, bye.